What's up guys, it's your boy Jay from JS Films and we are back in DaVinci 14 doing another performance test but this time it is with my main computer that I bought back in 2012. Like before, let me show you my specs. I'm running Windows 7, 64-bit, I have an X90 Intel, uh, it's a 6-core processor process or really processor at 24 gigabytes so that's my spec and I have a GTX 1080 Ti in this system I have a couple of black magic Ursa mini 4k footage we have a uh, red scarlet and we have some Sony a7s2 4k 8-bit so let's test out the black magic Ursa mini 4k first Let's drag and drop those, see how well they play in the edit uh, menu or tab. Let's do that. Jesus, this guy looks so good. Who is this? All right, let's do this. Okay, so first thing you got to make sure, you got to make sure the performance mode is on. So let's click on playback. Make sure this is on. Okay, make sure it has a check mark on there. I don't have use optimized media, so that means I'm not cheating. I'm not using any proxies. This is as raw as it can get. This is raw, by the way. Oh man, I miss raw so bad. Oh, look at all those. Anyways, go back to edit. Let's see how well it plays. Wow. That's crazy. It's, yeah, so this, it's peaking at 24 frames per second, which when I first edited this video before DaVinci 14, there's no way I can get this smooth of a playback in 4K. So that is amazing. That's crazy, man. Oh, okay. So uh, the scrubbing is not real time. Mind you, this is a really old processor. You guys probably have better ones, but man, for a freaking five-year-old computer, with you know the latest GTX 1080 Ti, it's not that bad. DaVinci 14 is no joke when it comes to performance. That's crazy, man. That's awesome. All right, so enough for that. That's the Blackmagic Ursa Mini 4K. Let's go to the Red Scarlet. I have the Red Scarlet here. Let's see, what did I record the Red Scarlet in? Uh, okay, so here's the Red Scarlet of uh, oh, DCI 4K. It looks like 4096, 2160. It's a red camera, raw again, so I'll show you that. Go to clip. Let's go to red log film. Oh, look at that, man. I missed those color too. All right, good times, good times. So let's go back to red gamma three, get some contrast in there, and let's see if this plays at 24 frames per second. Press play. Okay. Had a little bit of an issue there towards the beginning, but it looks like it plays that real smooth too. Holy crap. Can we add like multiple ones maybe? Will that... No, it's still full time. That's cool. All right, that's the Red Scarlet. Let's move on to a Sony A7S II footage at H.264. Now, H.264s are freaking brutal to your computer when it comes to editing. So let's see how well it does with uh, DaVinci 14. These are 8-bit, Sony A7S II 8-bit at uh, HD 2160p 4K. Um, this is the low light test I did. So let's see if it plays well. Let's press play. And there you go. It peaks at 24 frames per second steady. Except for that shake, that was my camera. So that's it guys. That's amazing. I think it's definitely worth 200 some dollars. I mean, it's crazy how Blackmagic things they give you like 10 times more performance and then charge less. That's insane in my opinion. Um, if you have any questions, let me know and thanks for watching.